Terus bawahnya pasti Not dia. long ago, Governor Basuki Cahaya Purnama, better known as Ahok, was considered hard to beat. His approval ratings were high after he reduced flooding in the capital, fought corruption and built roads and public transport links. Then the Christian Chinese politician was accused of making blasphemous comments about the Quran and was put on trial. The election campaign began to focus on religion and the future of Indonesia as a pluralist nation. At rallies attended by his two Muslim opponents, people were urged not to vote for a non-Muslim candidate. Ahok's opponent, the former education minister Anis Baswedan, says he had no choice but to play the religious card in an already polarized campaign. That's why what we'd like to do is to unite it, to bring it back. Because today it's already divided. That's the fact today. And it's just across the globe divided across race, across religious line, across But if you say ideology. we only need a, a Muslim governor, then are you not dividing yourself? I myself, I never campaign on that. I mean, you, 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 you can see, I don't campaign. But in your campaign, people are campaigning for that. I, but I'm campaigning to all groups. Never before has there been a governor's election this heated. The race, tainted by religious and ethnic sentiments, is closely watched far beyond the capital. The outcome is seen as an important indicator of where the country is heading. While Ahok is still leading in most polls, his chances of being elected in the first round on Wednesday are considered slim. Anis Baswedan and the son of former President Yudhoyono, Akus Yudhoyono, have gained significant support after what has been described as a dangerously divisive campaign. Uh, it has to be open for all, but it does say it has the equal right of citizens for rights and equal rights for citizens, no matter what color, no matter what religion, to run for political office. If you come and say you have to be of a certain religion, of a certain color, you're breaking that oath that binds the nation. That is what the Constitution is. It bound a nation based on that diversity. If you break that oath, Indonesia is gone. Tens of millions of Indonesians will vote in regional elections throughout the country. But the focus will be on the capital, where more than 7 million people are expected to cast their ballot. The impact of this divisive race for governor will be felt by everyone throughout Indonesia. Step fasten. Al Jazeera, Jakarta.